here's how you can automatically generate subtitles just like this for your videos inside Premiere Pro. And the method that I'm going to be showing you today means that you can create these captions and these subtitles within less than five minutes, saving you a whole lot of time in the editing process. And if you're new here, then hello, my name is Kelsey and this channel focuses on video production, video editing and all things about being a creative freelancer. So if you want to see more content and videos based around that, then consider subscribing to keep up to date with the latest videos. However, without further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay, so once you have the clip that you'd like to subtitle on your timeline, then you need to select it and then navigate your way to the captions and graphics tab at the top here. After clicking on it, you should see this box appear in the top left hand part of your workspace. This will have three different options, but in order to create these subtitles, you should click on the first one, which is the transcribe sequence button. This will trigger a pop up where you can adjust the settings of the subtitles. So for example, if you go to the mix drop down, it will allow you to choose from what audio layer you would like to transcribe. So if you have multiple audio tracks, you'll be able to choose the one that you'd like to subtitle. However, I'm only working with one audio track at the moment, so that doesn't really affect me. So I can just click on audio one and that'll be fine. You also have a language drop down as well where you can pick what language you'd like the subtitle to be in. But obviously because I'm painfully British, then I'm just going to stick with the default English language for now. Adobe are looking to put more languages on, but at this moment in time, they just have this short list. So maybe in future updates, they'll change this. But for now, this is what you can choose from. Where it says to transcribe in and out points, that basically means that you can subtitle a short segment of the video. So if you create in and out points, you'll only be able to subtitle that specific part. But as I want Premiere to transcribe the whole entire clip, I'm just going to leave that for now and leave it unticked. Then after that, you can go ahead and click transcribe and then you just got to let Premiere to do its thing. Two hours later. After Premiere has transcribed the dialogue, you should see the text appear in this little window over here. So the next thing that you'll need to do is to check that the subtitles are correct, as sometimes Premiere autocorrects words and phrases. So it is wise just to have a read through and just check that every little word in this dialogue is to correct to what you're actually saying in the video. Now that all the transcript is correct, you can go ahead and click create captions at the top here. And this will trigger another pop-up window that will allow you to change how many characters you want in a line as well as if you want the subtitles to be on one line or two but i prefer it just to be on one so i'm just going to select that and i normally leave the rest of the settings the same as well but you can have a fiddle around and see what works best for you as well so after all of that you can just click create and now you'll see individual text clips have been added onto another layer on your timeline where the subtitles will appear and you can use these icons up here to split the captions so you can add more or you can click these three dots here to download the SRT file of the transcript. So if you were going to upload to YouTube, then you can also upload that as well. And it's pretty handy to have for SEO reasons as well if you wanted to have it so you can export the transcript there too. Alternatively, you can edit the subtitle layers just like a normal video clip. So you can drag it to extend the subtitle as well as cut it with the razor tool and move it around to rearrange the way in which the subtitles appear. In order to change or modify the style of the text, you can select one of the captions and then adjust, adjust some of the properties on the right hand side panel here. So as you can see, you can change the font the size of the text, the colour of the text, and you can also add a stroke and a background if you want to. And to save time in future, if you want to create a preset of this style so you don't have to keep manually entering all of the properties and the settings and the details for the text, then you can just come up here and click create preset. And then that will mean that that specific style is saved for next time. So you don't have to manually do it. You can just click on the style and that will all be done for the next time you subtitle. So once you're happy with the video and the subtitles, then you've just got to make sure that you export the video properly. Otherwise the subtitles won't appear on the video. So uh, in order to export it properly, you can just go to obviously file export. Um, but where it says captions here, 
you'll need to use the drop down and select burn captions into video and this basically means that the subtitles will permanently be on your video as a visual um, if you don't click this and that basically means that your video is going to export but it won't have the subtitles ingrained onto your footage so make sure that you have that clicked if you want the subtitles to be permanently ingrained onto your video after that you can go ahead and export and then you're all done and your subtitles will be added to your video ready for you to publish. So after that you should have subtitles just like these on your videos and this is a great editing function that you can use for your videos because with the demand of accessibility features, captions and subtitles have become a key way in making your content and videos more accessible to a diverse range of audiences. As well as that, this function can also be used to engage your viewers and add emphasis on different words and sentences that you want the audience to pay close attention to. And these visuals are particularly engaging on platforms such as YouTube and TikTok as they make the audience stay on so you have longer retention times. Plus, some people out there just enjoy watching videos and content with the subtitles on and I'll be the first to admit and hold my hands up to say if I'm watching Netflix then 9 times out of 10 I'll put the subtitles on and that's not necessarily because I can't hear it but just because I feel like I register information more if there's text on the screen and surely I'm not the only one who actually does that. However, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then consider liking the video if you found it helpful. And if you want to see more content based around video editing, then consider subscribing to my channel. However, that's it for today and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.